Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we are gonna be talking about one of the best ways to integrate ChatGPT inside Obsidian. Until now, integrating ChatGPT in Obsidian has been a challenge. While there were some tools available like Text Generator, Ava, ChatGPT MD, GPT-3 Notes and more, they lacked the full integration and the ease of use that ChatGPT offers. But with the plugins that we are gonna be talking in this talking about Obsidian Copilot and Obsidian Weaver, you can get the ChatGPT interface and experience directly within Obsidian. With these plugins, you will no longer have to switch between Obsidian and your web browser to work with ChatGPT. This will greatly improve your workflow and productivity, helping you stay on track and focused. Plus, it's more fun to use Obsidian when everything is in one place. So, if you are ready to take your Obsidian experience to next level, let's dive in. The first plugin that we are gonna be talking about is Obsidian Copilot. Uh, it is a chat GPT integration in Obsidian and it has been recently released 3 days ago. And currently this plugin is in beta version, so it is not available in Obsidian's community plugin library. So you'll have to uh, install this plugin manually. So let's talk about how you can manually install this plugin uh, in your Obsidian world. For that, you'll need to go to this releases, releases section. I will put the GitHub link in the description of this video and you can go, go to releases from there and you need to download these three files main.js, manifest.json and style.css so let me download these three first let me go to my browser and copy these three files I'll just cut them now you need to go to the board where you want to install uh, this plugin so this is the board where I'm installing obsidian copilot currently so I'll, I'll go to dot obsidian folder over here now now go to this dot obsidian folder go to this plugins and create a new folder here called as obsidian copilot i'll just write obsidian copilot and now move these three files into this folder now let's go back to our obsidian world and install this plugin obsidian copilot for that you'll just need to go to settings now go to community plugins and refresh this option over here and you will see there is an option for copilot now you just need to enable this option and if you go to settings there is an option to set up your open ai api key for that, you just need to click on this link. If you don't have an OpenAI account, then you will need to create first. And if you already have, you can directly create a new API key from here. So I'll create a new API key and name it A, create it, copy this. And now I'll go back to Obsidian Copilot setting and I'll just paste it here. Now there is a default model here where you can select GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. Uh, these are the models the, that you might want to use with this chat GPT integration. Currently, you can only use GPT-4 model if you already have access to GPT-4 in OpenAI. I don't have that currently, so I'll just select GPT-3.5. And here are some parameters that you can change. Temperature, where default is 0.7. Higher values will result in more creativeness, but also will result in more mistakes. Set to 0 for no randomness. And there's a token limit where you can set up maximum number of tokens to generate. Uh, and the default is 1000 and conversation turns in context which means how many previous conversation do you want to include in the context when you are talking to chat gpt from obsidian so this is all about the settings of obsidian copilot now let's open copilot from here you, you can see the ribbon icon over here and let me just expand this right sidebar and here you can see this is the chat window for obsidian copilot now let me just write hi and you can see here is a response generated by chat gpt I am Obsidian Copilot, a helpful AI assistant ready to assist you in any way I can. What can I help you do? What can I help you with today? Now let me just write another question. What can you do for me so that I can show you how, what are the different features available within this community plugin? So here is the answer being generated by AI and you can see how fast the response is. So let's talk about the first feature of Obsidian Copilot. The first feature is that you can chat right inside of Obsidian. You, do not, you don't have to move into your browser. You don't have to switch between your browser and Obsidian app in order to uh, access the AI. The second feature is you can use GPT-4 model. And this is only possible if you already have access to the API keys for GPT-4 model. And the third feature here is you can easily copy these messages. So let me create a, oh, create a new file here. And you can see I can copy these messages directly with one click. You can not only copy these messages, but you can also save the entire conversation as a note. Let me show you. You can see here is an option to save as a note. Now if I click on save, you can see this entire conversation is saved as a note. And if I go to here, you can see this is saved at chat 2023. Uh, this 
time is added over here. Another feature that I really like is this feature where I can use my active note as context. So let me open note here. Be grateful. Okay. This is a atomic note from my original vault or my personal uh, second brain vault. Now I can use, okay, let me just create a new conversation over here. How do we need that? By clicking on this option, new chat. Now I'll use this active note as context. Okay. And you can see that uh, the AI has already read this note titled Be Grateful. So I'll uh, just ask this to summarize in two sentences. If you have long notes, you can use this feature where you can have conversations with your old notes. You can only have conversation with one note at a time. So you are not uh, feeding your entire vault. You are not feeding your entire second brain to AI, but one note at a time. I really like this plugin because of the ability to save notes with just one click and copy uh, individual messages and and use my active notes as context so this is the first plugin that i wanted to talk about which can help you seamlessly integrate chat gpt inside obsidian now let's talk about the second plugin which is called obsidian waiver and i feel i feel like obsidian waiver works better than copilot my experience has been better with waiver than with copilot before we talk about obsidian waiver i wanted to add something here i recently applied for youtube partner program for the third time and I've been rejected. I don't know why I have met all the requirements, but still I've, I'm getting rejected. So if you want to support me in my creator journey, if you want to help me support uh, financially, then you can do by the Patreon link that I'll provide in the description. But anyways, thank you for watching my videos. Let's get back to Obsidian Weber. So let's talk about Obsidian Weber plugin. You'll need to set up the Weber plugin exactly the same way we set up a copilot it is also currently in beta so it's not available in plugin library so you'll just need to install it manually you'll need to go to releases from here and you'll need to download these three files which are inside this drop down menu assets main.java's main.js and style.css once you download these files you'll need to move them inside your dot obsidian plugins and then create a new folder called obsidian waiver and move these three files inside there and you need to enable these options from your settings go to Comte plugins and over here you will have this new plugin waiver and you'll need to enable this and if you go to settings you need to add the api key from openai which we have generated previously and you can select the three models over here gpt 3.5 turbo gpt 3.5 turbo 0301 and gpt 4 we'll just select gpt 3.5 turbo 0301 as we don't have access to gpt4 and you can see here are some options where you can configure the model maximum tokens temperature and frequency penalty here are other general settings where you can choose the folder path to save your conversations and you can enable this option to open on a startup which i leave it open and i'll just close this and now let me open the waiver chat window and you can see here is an option to create a new chat welcome back what can i assist with you today let me ask the same let me ask the same question that i asked to copilot hi who are you one thing that you will notice when using these two plugins is that obsidian copilot is faster than the weber plugin and you can see the answer here i'm an i'm an ai language model created by openai designed to provide assistance with personal knowledge management within obsidian any questions related to note taking knowledge knowledge organization productivity productivity and other related topics so this is the answer so I asked another question to Copilot as well. Let me ask the same question that I asked Copilot. What can you do for me? I believe these two plugins are using different AI models. Now let's talk about some of the feature of Obsidian Weaver. Just like Copilot, you can copy the individual messages by going on to the top of that particular message like this, and you can paste it into your paste it into a new file. As I already showed you, you can choose from three different models. That is GPT-4, GPT-3.5 Turbo, and GPT 3.5 Turbo 0301. Third feature is the ability to rename your nodes over here. Intro. You can directly rename your nodes right from here, and these nodes will be automatically saved to a particular folder inside your world. By default, all of these nodes will be saved inside uh, this folder's bin and under the subfolder Weaver. And you can you, you can customize this setting into the plugins option from here. Weaver folder path. And the next feature that I really like is the ability to see all of your previous notes right from the chat window. So you can see uh, I am uh, I can create a new note over here. And if I go back, I can see all of the previous notes or all of the previous conversations that I have with ChatGPT. And I can see all of these notes in the same chat interface. 
this is really cool if you want to talk about the differences between copilot and weber first difference that i would like to make you clear is that obsidian copilot is fast weber takes a little time to generate a response but uh, weber gets better results in my opinion than copilot copilot has given me more generic responses than uh, weber weber saves chat automatically and you can access all of your previous chats all of your previous conversation in the same chat window while copilot does not have that ability weber supports using longer notes as context better than copilot and weber has a better interface you can see this is the interface of copilot and you can see this is the this okay let me go back this is the interface of weber and you can see the uh, interface of weber is better than copilot so these were some of the difference between Obsidian Weber and Obsidian Copilot. I'm using Obsidian Weber in my second brain vault in order to help me in knowledge management and help me in my work. So this is all about today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video because I'll be coming with more Obsidian related content and more useful videos in future. Thank you.